Here's Harper's agent Scott Boris. He told the New York Post, we had average values of 45 million offered on shorter term deals. We had a full buffet. The goal was to get the longest contract possible. Bryce wanted one city for the rest of his career. That's what I was instructed to do. It's very difficult in this time to get the length of a contract that takes a player to age 37, 38 and 39. And that is absolutely true. A lot of teams don't want to take those risks when a player gets a little older. But let's bring in David Ross for more on this. And David, first of all, your initial reaction when you heard the deal was 13 years, $330 million. Uh, that was a lot of money. Um, no, I think the 13 years stands out for me. You're getting the AAV, the average annual value at, at 25 plus. Uh, you're paying for his prime years, but you're also uh, getting a little bit of, uh, of the back end too, the 38, 39 years. That length of time for me is extremely long. You know, you never know what's going to happen to a player uh, at the back end of his career. So uh, the commitment from the team, the commitment from Bryce to want to be in one place, no opt out when there's so many opt outs right now in contracts, you can tell a true commitment from both sides. Yeah, this has been a very busy offseason in the National League East, and this is just the latest. How do you see it shaking out in that division now that the Phillies have gotten Bryce Harper? I mean, that's a really tough division. Uh, the Mets are going to be really good with their pitch, and the Braves won the East last year. Obviously, the Phillies now, well, for me, the Nats. The Nats are coming along. Pick, picking up Patrick Corbin is a big sign for me. Deep in that rotation, the loss of Gio Gonzalez moving on. They've got great starting pitching and a nice young lineup. They're going to be really, really tough to deal with in that National League East. But for me, it's up for grabs. Yeah, Bryce Harper is coming off of a bit of a down year in 2018. Now, a lot of hitters love to hit in that Phillies ballpark. But how do you think he may need to change his approach this season to be even better offensively and be truly what they want in the middle of that order? Well, he might feel right at home. He's got great numbers in that ballpark. But for me, uh, with that deep lineup, Reese Hoskins, they've got Rio Muto, McCutcheon, uh, a great young lineup, and it's really deep. When you add him to that lineup, if he can get on base, move the baseball, cut down on the strikeouts, that's a potent lineup. You want to just turn the lineup over as much as you can when you have that deep of a lineup, have guys getting on base, somebody's going to pop a home run, and they're going to put up a crooked number. The Phillies had the best offense any team ever has. And according to the Elias Sports Bureau, they are the first team in Major League history to add three position players in an offseason, all of whom were all-stars in previous seasons. Puts them in quite the position as they enter into this year. And we've got Pedro Gomez joining us from Phillies camp right now. I'm understanding, Pedro, that you just talked to some Phillies players about the addition of Bryce Harper. What did they tell you? Yeah, Laura, we just left about 10 minutes ago from the clubhouse. And I, before I tell you that, let me give you an idea of how excited the city of Philadelphia is. John Weber, their head of ticket sales, announced this morning that once this deal, deal was completed or at least agreed to around 3 in the afternoon Eastern time to this morning, they've already sold 100,000 single game tickets, which is an astonishing figure when you stop and think about it. But that has really correlated inside to this Phillies clubhouse where that excitement level is equally matched. That's like, uh, you know, opening up a Christmas present and knowing that you got what you asked, you know, Santa Claus for. You no, know, a lot of guys are just like, wow, this is, you know, this is actually happening, you know. So, yeah, we were, uh, we're pretty pumped about it. We all, we all know what he can do. Um, we all know what he's capable of. Uh, well, obviously, the guy's a, a pretty good player, right? Um, you get to add a player like this, I think it just kind of makes everyone around him better. Gene, what was your reaction when you heard the news about Bryce? The World Series champ. Now, you heard Gene Segura there. What was your reaction? World Series champs. That's the belief now. Reese Hoskins said the same thing. They honestly believe that adding this piece, along with G JT Realmuto, Andrew McCutcheon, David Robertson, Gene Segura, they have made themselves favorites, they believe, to win it all. And really, it's hard to believe otherwise the way that they have added to this roster. The idea is that Harper will take his physical here in Florida later today once he arrives from Las Vegas. Press conference tomorrow, sometime around midday, maybe late morning, right around midday, and that he probably will start working out as early as Sunday with the club, with the possibility of him being in a Phillies game maybe late next week.
Wow. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. And look, Pedro, I think sometimes the clubhouse chemistry is a little overblown, but it does seem like <laughs> these guys are ready to welcome him in. What sense did you get from that standpoint? Anybody with a previous Bryce Harper connection or anything already on the Phillies team? <laughs> You know, a lot of guys, because it's the Phillies and he played for the Nationals, they've been playing against him 19 times a year. And even guys who have come in from outside, like a Sean Rodriguez or a Gene Segura, have been National Leaguers before. So they all are very familiar with him. Jake Arrieta posted a hilarious video on his Instagram where he's in, believe it or not, a little Speedo, and he's <laughs> sweeping at his condo here saying, getting the house ready for Bryce. So they are very excited about this move. And, you know, I talked to Arietta last season during the season, and he said one of the things missing from this Phillies club is we need veterans who know how to win. Certainly with the additions they've made this winter, that, that has now been eliminated as a question mark, and that's part of what they are now. All right, thanks so much, Pedro Gomez. I probably will not be checking out that Arietta post, but we'll be keeping you updated <laughs> on everything Bryce Harper related.